Thank you, guys. Thank you. Uh, first off, um, I remember here, I remember sitting over there when I was a freshman uh, and looking up, and, you know, it was nothing like this. I'm talking in front of, you know, at least, you know, 10,000 10, people, and it was nothing like that my freshman year. So I really appreciate you guys sticking around and, and, and listening to our stories. Thank you. This is definitely a, a bittersweet time in my life. Um, you know, bitter because uh, I realized that uh, my basketball career here at Indiana uh, is coming to an end. And it really is hard to say goodbye to uh, something that, you know, you really, truly have just depended on uh, through tough times and, and good times, waking up. You know, basketball's always been there for me. And it's really hard to say goodbye. So, um, but the sweet part is, um, we still got a lot of basketball left. I know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And you guys, you guys have definitely made this trip worthwhile. Um, you know, from freshman year to hardly being able to pay you guys to come in here to last year. Uh, you know, on the tourneys, you know, when we get on the bus, have you guys lined up and, and cheering us on right before we got to the tournament games. And then now, I mean, this year we had to kick, I think it was 500 people out of this place just so, you know, there was no, I don't know, fire emergency or whatever with Hoosier Syria. So, I mean, that's just unbelievable to know, you know, not only where we've come from, but where Hoosier Nation has come from. So we really thank you. <clears throat> I want to take the time right now to th thank a few people. Um, my coaches, uh, starting back seventh and eighth grade, Coach Grimmel, um, you know, those guys uh, were there first time I ever got my uh, first letter from a college, and they were the ones that really tell me that, you know, college was really uh, a big option for me. And going into high school, uh, Coach Ken Day, who I know is here, uh, Coach Doherty, who uh, texted me and told me he was going to be here, uh, those guys, you know, kept me on the right course. Uh, and even when I came in, Samson, and uh, <laughs> even when I came in here with Coach Sampson and things didn't turn out right, uh, Coach Cream was hired, and not five minutes after he was hired, I was t taken out of class and put into Coach Doherty's class, and uh, we just sat there and talked, and he told me if I didn't stay here, I'd be making the worst decision of my life. Uh, so I really thank him for keeping my mind on it. Um, now, I, I really want to thank uh, Coach Crean. Coach Crean, uh, you know as well as I do, um, you know, me and my dad have had, you know, on and off times. Uh, he hasn't, you know, I haven't been able to stay in touch the way I like. And you were that father figure. I mean, you were there um, to kind of keep my head on straight from the beginning. You were there to keep my head on straight in the beginning. My dad instilled in me discipline, and you just kept harping it. Uh, you were there for the passing of my grandpa. Um, you've been there through all my, my family issues. And I, you know, the thing is, with me, everybody knows I'm kind of a goofy guy, but you've been the one to kind of keep me level-headed, making sure I'm doing the right things at the right time, and, and I couldn't ask for anybody else to do that for me. So I really appreciate that. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Along with that, Coach Buckley, um, you, me and you both know that we've butted heads a lot, but you've always been the guy I've gone to uh, no matter what. If I was getting yelled at by Coach Crean, any other assistant, you would grab me off to the side and tell me what I was doing wrong. And the thing about it was you never sugarcoated it. You know, that's, I, think, I think that's why me and you had such a great connection, just because my father, you know, raised and, and he was from North Carolina in that great system. And when I was growing up, he instilled in me, you know, that it had to be said the right way. You could never sugarcoat it, and you never did. And uh, I thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you.
I also want to thank Coach Watt. I know he's not here right now, but Coach Watt and Coach Jackson, I mean, those guys have had to deal with me. Um, my upper body is, 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 you know, it's pretty big. And my lower... <laughs> <laughs> and, and my lower body just isn't. So I've been, <laughs> I've been working with these guys for the past four years, and, and that's all we've been trying to do is, is try to get me stronger in each and every way and, and battling through surgeries and, and, you know, this knee surgery, uh, you know, uh, especially you, Coach Jackson, every day getting me in there and working me out and trying to get me back on the court as soon as possible. And, and I, it's, you know, I thank you a lot for that, getting me out here as soon as I could. Thank you. Now, I definitely I want to give a, a special thanks uh, to Matty White and Marnie Mooney. Uh, these are my advisors, and I don't think you guys understand that when I first got here to college, I never thought I would graduate, honestly. Um, it's just a part of life. Uh, you know, me and my mom had butted heads about that. But uh, Marnie was the one to not only get me to graduate early, but to, you know, keep pushing me and pushing me to get my master's degree. And like I said, never thought I'd graduate. Definitely never thought I would have got my master's degree without Marnie. And I'm getting my master's degree in four years here. I mean, that's... Thank you. It's not only the master's degree. Um, you know, school is a big, important, it's an important part of my life. But um, I guess I don't take it as seriously as I guess I should. Um, but, you know, whenever me and Marnie had some free time just coming in and sitting down and, and just talking about old stories, drawing up pictures for her, just, I don't know, whenever just me and her could just talk and just do the craziest things we would. And she has a million stories to tell, and I really hope she doesn't. <laughs> but, you know, the fact that Marnie was there and, and, and got me to graduate with a master's degree in four years, that, it's an unbelievable feeling, so I really thank you, Marnie. Um, next, uh, I really want to thank my family uh, for being here. Um, it's a very, I mean, I'm very emotional anytime I get to be around my dad, just because me and my dad have been through so much together from AAU back when we were four to my dad coaching me when we were six. I, I, I feel really honored right now that he's on this court with me. Um, a lot of the times me and him kind of thought that I might be wearing 32 and looking into a sea of light blue and white. Uh, but that dream fell short and uh, I'm so glad I'm wearing 32 and, crimson, and cream and crimson. The thing with me was I was always trying to be like my dad, and I realized when I got here, I think it was Coach Buck who set me down and realized that I had to kind of write my own story instead of being looked at as, as my father. And, and he was a great athlete. I mean, he, he did so many things at North Carolina. But Coach Buckley kind of told me that you know, it was time for me to write my own story. So the fact that he's here and we both get to enjoy me wearing a 32, that's, you know, it's one of the proudest days of my, you know, of my life to be able to have him up here with me. And to my, and to my, you know, my brothers, my sisters, my uh, stepbrother, Zach, you guys have always been, uh, you are, he is my brother now, but these guys are always, Always the first ones to ask me for tickets. Always wanting to be a, <laughs> not like that. <laughs> but they're always just, the reason they're asking just because they always want to be a part of, of this experience with me. These guys, you know, I've, I've never had a game, a home game, and even away games where these guys just aren't here. Uh, so to know that these guys are always by my side, uh, it's an unbelievable feeling. So I thank you guys so much. And then to my mom, my mom, it's, my, I've been, I mean, I've been here for four years, and I think my mom's only probably missed two games, maybe, 
and she's really, <laughs> oh, sorry, one. <laughs> she's only missed one game of my whole career. Uh, so, you know, to have someone like that, to always, you know, and I'm, you know, I'm not going to stand up here and say I'm the best player, but to have my mom come and support me every night, uh, give me a kiss before every game, tell me I love me after, she loves me after every game. Um, you just don't know what that does for me. I, I don't have a lot of people, you know, in my life, uh, and I'm sure glad I'm sitting up here with this group of people right now. Uh, so if you're gonna make a, a big applause, I really would like it to be on this time. That being said, um, I'm up here with three of, not only one of my best, not three, two of my best friends. I'm up here with two of my best friends. <laughs> yeah. Nobody can say it like Derek. But I'm not only up here with two of my best friends, but I'm up here with two guys who came in with me we did an interview right back there when we first got here, and we always said to the reporters, we were going to kind of be the group to bring it back. And now everybody said, everybody kind of looked at us like we were crazy. I don't think we really knew what we were going to get ourselves in. Um, I know everybody's heard it before, but you know what, what we've done to instill in these guys coming up and, and even from the guys before us, Corey, Tom, Dan, Verdell, Matt, uh, those guys instilled in us what we're instilling in this group. And uh, I know us three sit up here right now and, and just think what life was our freshman year to coming out in front of a sold out crowd every single game. And, you know, I thank you guys every day. And I know, you know, we took care of business for the most part was something on this side of the wall. Now, we got more games to play. <laughs> but here in a few weeks, it's time to go take care of something on that wall. Thank you guys, you guys have made this so much fun for me. I appreciate it, I love you guys.